and welcome. Today, we're at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and we're gonna talk about a copy and save program that's on the Dan Foss VLT drive. Here's the local control panel for the LCP on the Dan Foss VLT drive. So the copy and save function can be found by pressing the main menu. Comes up operation and display. The parameter we're looking for is 0-05. So we push the OK button and then scroll down to 0-5, copy, save. Push OK and that brings up the parameter we're looking for. LCP copy. If you push the OK button again, that moves the cursor down here where it says no copy. You can use the up arrow to change that to all to LCP, right? All to local control panel. Once we push the OK button, this uh, bar comes up and it is now copying all of the parameters that have been uh, programmed into the drive. Once this is done, all of those parameters will be saved, and that can be used if you've made some changes and then want to go back to the original um, programming that you've had. Or if you think some changes have been made that you are unaware of, you can uh, make it, you can change it back to the way it was. Now that, now that all of those parameters have been saved, push the OK button again, go up to all from LCP, push the OK button, and now it is gonna download all of the settings that you programmed into the VFD from the LCP into the VFD. Okay, now that all of those parameters that were saved uh, have been copied from the LCP back to the VLT, if we needed to, is we'd be able to remove this LCP from this VFD and we could move it over to a new VFD or a VFD that you think you're having trouble with and then download those settings into that VFD and get that one back up and running performing the same as the, uh, the redundant VFD. Okay. So that's how you copy and save the parameters on the Dan Foss drive. Thank you for watching this, uh, this edition of the R.L. Detman uh, Service Tip of the Month. Have a good day and be safe.